I almost can't believe I've never made a video about this machine. So I purchased this a couple years ago from a vacuum collector friend of mine. He had purchased this at some sort of an estate sale and they had several of these machines. So I don't know if they were a salesman or a dealer or what, but if you read the description, you already know what this is, but I'll just pretend that it's a surprise. So this is a brand new box and never used TriStar. And this is the model is DXL. I knew it was either DXL or CXL, but it took me a second to to look so I can remember. But yeah, this is a DXL TriStar. This is pretty much the last of the old-fashioned TriStar design before they um, became part of Electrolux, which would later become Aris. So um, it has been turned on, but it's never been vacuumed with. Um, and I, in fact, I think when I did turn it on, I, I left it in the box. Um, you can see it's got the um, submicron hepatite filter, still brand new, never been used, um, as well as these fragrant scents. Um, and the rubber is warped a little bit, you can see on the bag, but it does have the cloth bag. You can see, wow, look how clean that is. You'll probably never see another TriStar that clean. Look at that, no dust. Um, looks like it just has a foam pre-motor filter. Um, fabulous vacuum, a very powerful machine. Um, if I took this out of the box and started using it, I probably would reach almost retirement age before the motor in this vacuum will die. That's how strong these vacuums were made. Um, and this is the original plastic hose um, that I haven't taken out of the box. Um, you have... So, yeah, the vacuum is only fresh most likely only fresh out of its housing warranty because it, they gave it a 25 hour, 25 year housing warranty and then two years on everything else. I'm not exactly sure when this was made, but I'm gonna guess probably around 1995. You can see there's a pamphlet that explains the filtration system. This was about the time that people started be worrying about all that stuff. Um, this is a three pack of bag, genuine bags that came with the machine. I'm just going to keep them in the bag. If I ever do use this machine, I'm definitely not going to use these one layer paper bags. They leak so much dust. Um, they do make HEPA bags for this machine now. So if I did use it, I would use those. This is the power nozzle. Let me see if I can get a good shot of what's in here. So. This is a later style TriStar power nozzle that has more smooth edges around the body. You see it's dark gray. You don't see too many of these power nozzles. This is one of the very, like I said, this is one of the later TriStars before TriStar became part of Electrolux. So, um, dual stage land motor, so it has a lot of airflow. Um, Um, it's funny they call it a turbo brush when it is an electric power nozzle. Um, the story behind how these machines came to be, from what I recall, because they have such a unique shape to them, um, they were originally designed in the 1940s to clean aircraft. Um, they were designed so they could fit nice and snugly underneath everything on the plane. And they were given kind of like that retro aircraft almost style 
to them. And in fact, I believe Interstate Engineering, they either made planes or they made parts for planes. So the origins of the TriStar does have its roots in aircraft technology. Um, and as far as I know, they still sell TriStars today, but I'm not sure if they're long for this world because I don't see them ever selling a lot of them anymore. They're still decent enough machines, although I wouldn't put them on the level of these older TriStars. Um, they use kind of like a unique cyclonic, almost like technology in the bag housing to maintain peak cleaning power. So the bag fills up instead of straight up, it kind of fills at a tilt like this. And um, it's supposed to help maintain power longer. Now I know a lot of people poo poo try stars um, for them being messy to empty. They are, they can be, they can be messy to empty. Um, but um, as far as losing power, some people also poo-poo them for losing power. I've never really experienced that with a TriStar, at least to a significant degree. So I don't know, maybe they're just using the wrong style bags. But anyway, this is a really cherished addition to my collection. And I really don't have the heart to start using it because I see used TriStars all the time for sale that are in great shape. Um, but we'll see. Maybe someday hell will freeze over and I'll start using this machine. But I just wanted to share it with you all. And let me try to get all this stuff back in its place. So it's funny because the original box, this is the actual box of the machine. And then this box is just the shipping box. But it does have interstate labeled tape on it right from the factory. You can see... Um, and it was shipped through UPS, um, through Interstate Engineering. Um, and again, why this was never sold, why was this never used? Um, maybe, maybe they bought it as an extra vacuum, or maybe it was just kept by the dealer to keep as a parts machine. Who knows? We, I probably will never find out why this vacuum sat in the box for 25 some odd years but again it's still a really cherished machine to have and in a way it's special because it was one of the very last of the old style tri stars before they redesigned them so i hope you enjoyed this video